What's up guys, NabGamer here, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm back with another review video for more Sonic Movie 2 merch. And I was able to find two pieces of Sonic Movie 2 merch. And that is the 2.5 inch pack and one of the articulated Sonic figures. So, I'm actually very happy, first of all, that I was able to find these. Because I was just shocked that I saw them at the shelves. I had help from one of the employees. Um, my original plan was to ask if they had any in the back, but then the employee led me to the shelves, which is where all the Sonic Movie 2 merch was at. And they had the RC, the 13 inch Sonic Movie plush, which I reviewed last video. And they also had only one Sonic Movie 2, two uh, plush which was Tails, unfortunately. I'm um, assuming the... Where did the rest go? I'm assuming they either didn't stock them yet or they already sold out of uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, so they only had Tails, but that's fine because uh, I only came... I was supposed to come only with the five pack, but since I saw the articulated Sonic figure, I could not help but get that as well because this thing looks awesome. So, we're going to review the Articulated Sonic figure first before we get to the fight pack. So, here he is up close, and first of all, the packaging is awesome. Because one thing I like about it is that it's the shape of Sonic's quills, and I really like how they did that. Here's the packaging, it looks like every other packaging that you would see on Sonic Movie 2 merch. You can see it has the logo, and it has um, it says Sonic with Snow Rider on the bottom. And it says articulated. And uh, looking on the back here, you can see the picture of Sonic with his Snow Rider. And you can also see the other figures you can collect, which is Knuckles, Tails, and Dr. Robotnik. So yeah, let's open this thing. Also, again, I was thinking in my head, like I said last video, I was thinking about... Um, keeping it in the box but since I promised you guys last video that I was going to do a review video if I do find any more Sonic Movie 2 merch or at least for the uh the 2.5 inch pack but since I found this guy as well um I'm just going to take him out of the packaging because I'm just so excited to see what he looks like out of the packaging pretty hard to get out Come on, come on, Sonic. I know you want to get out of there. Get out of there. Twelve seconds later. Come on, there we go. Finally, he's out. Uh, before I review him, hold on, let me get this um, snowboard out. There's a snowboard, which is from the movie. Spoilers. Well, not really, because it's in the trailer. But okay. Let me just raise the camera down just a little bit because um, he's not that tall, unlike the 13 inch plush. Okay, so let's look at his snowboard real quick. Um, I'm assuming it's like a piece of metal from something. I'm not sure what it is. It might be from one of Dr. Robotnik's, like, it might be like one of his, from one of his robots or something. I don't know. Uh, we have to see the movie to find out, but you can see it has that metal texture with the... I don't know what you call those. Just like metal imprints that you would see on, on metal. And it even has the caution tape on the side. And it has the pegs for Sonic to stand on. Uh, Knuckles has this as well. Alright, let's look at Sonic. First off, this guy feels... This guy feels great. He even looks great. I really like how they... Oh, I just broke... I just broke it. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Uh, first problem. Um, the leg... 
bending the leg is not the best idea. So I'm not gonna bend it. At least it didn't break right as I took it out of the packaging. So there's one one thumbs up, but already off the bat, bending his bending his knee, the joint might snap off. So I'm, I'm not gonna bend that knee. I don't want to risk bending the other knee in case it does snap. But um, let's look at his shoes. Uh, he does, his uh, foot does move up and down. So he has an articulated ankle and a foot. You can move it up and down if you want. And looking at the bottom, he even has the, the holes for the uh, snowboard so he can stand on it. And uh, his elbow does bend. Uh, I think I'm bending it the wrong way. You know, it's the right way. I'm kind of scared to bend it because I don't want to break it right off the bat. But yeah, um, his uh, his elbows can bend, but I don't want to risk breaking it because after seeing what happened to the knee, um, I don't want to risk it. But let's look at his face real quick face looks great uh, they put a the painting on this looks great the sculpting is also great as well uh, I wish they had more detail on the on the uh, on his belly because it's only like one like it's only like one I don't know what you call that like um, just like Fur detail, I guess. Uh, but yeah, other overall, this guy looks this guy looks great. Looks amazing, actually. And his hand, his head can turn left and right, obviously. Um, his legs can also also move up and down. Okay, this one's not gonna snap on me. Okay. I forgot to show the arms. His arms can move up and down as well. Same with the other one. But yeah, this guy is is very nice to have as a Sonic collector. I'm gonna put his board next to him. All right, let's get rid of um, the packaging because we're going to review the um, 2.5 inch pack. Okay. So right off the bat, here are the here are the main five. You see, you get the Buzz Bomber, Doctor Robotnik, Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails. Uh, the packaging is pretty much almost the same thing as the articulated figure. You see, it has the same has the same artwork of Sonic, the logo, uh, but it, the only difference is it says f movie figure collection and the width and the height of the box here's the side is a picture of sonic and the logo above him side is the same and the back shows all the characters you get and the packaging actually on this looks very nice uh the top is the same thing as well okay um nothing at the bottom all right let's open this thing Give this taper right here. Yep, and do it easier way. So I got scissors for a reason. Uh, oh, just hit myself with scissors. I'm still am very happy that I was able to find these two because in my stores I checked online in Target and the figure, the articulated figure itself was sold out, but the 2.5 inch figure pack wasn't, which is strange because I looked online in different like stores that are around me in my country and they were all sold out. It wasn't in stores, it just said, it wasn't like, it didn't say it was sold out, it just wasn't in stores. 
I think, um, I think, um, like at the time I found them, they had just stocked. So that's probably why. But here it is. Here they're out of the peg thing. Uh, oh yeah, I just looked at this. It's like a lightning bolt effect. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go for you to put your figures so it looks like a cool background. Uh, let's take these guys out of the picture. Oh, they have these. They have these uh, rubber bands. Okay, this one. I don't think this one has like, a rubber band. Yeah, it doesn't. It pops on it. Oh, it even has like a stand. Uh, wait, how do you put this back on? Oh, it's a. Uh, Oh, there's a place where you can insert it, okay. That makes sense. Uh, I'll review it after I get all the figures out. Let's get Dr. Black out. Well, I don't know if you can see me. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, his head popped off. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's not broken. And said just Bob down. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Alright. Let's arrange these. Let's arrange these guys. Alright, I got them all arranged now. Let's look at them one by one. Here's Sonic. Looking very nice and very cool. Uh this is like uh this is just like the uh articulated figure, except it's much smaller. The painting is the exact same. Except it doesn't have um uh, articulate joints like the other one just has like four points of articulation or five including the head um but yeah this guy like even with less articulation this guy is still it's still awesome joints turn around 360 oh head articulates uh i don't think 360 unless you want to I don't know, it might break it. Or you could pop the head off, but <laughs> we've already seen how that happens with tails. Why are we still here? But yeah, this guy is pretty much the same thing as the articulated figures. Uh it's still very nice though. Now um let's take it oh Sonic then. Stay Sonic. Stay, thank you. Now here's Tails. The uh, uh, first complaint I have about this is that uh, um he can't stand properly. Like, I tried... I tried making him stand properly, but he just wants to fall over. I'm assuming it's because he's a small figure, so there's no space for his legs to stay flat. Like, look, that's how he stands. Like, that... He can't stand like that. Like... Look at that. Knowing me, I'm not gonna let that stop me from liking this figure because, um, yeah, this guy looks very nice. Well, tail, his tail spin, which I really like. Um, his head moves left and right. Um, his arms, his legs, his ankles don't turn like the articulated figure. That's, that's, uh, understandable. Um, here's his face up close. The sculpt on his face is almost like he has eyebrows, but he doesn't have act he doesn't actually have eyebrows, so it makes it. I guess it's just like the. The mold, not the mold, the the sculpt on the sculpt they did for him made it look like he has eyebrows. I say this figure is spot on from the movie. The painting is nice. Yeah. Very cool tails. I have to leave him on the floor like that because he just he's not gonna want to stand on me for this video. Uh here's Dr. Robotnik, and may I say that I really appreciate that they made a Dr. Robotnik figure of Jim Carrey, because Jim Carrey's awesome. His legs are weird. Oh wait, no, never mind. Or actually take the back of that never mind, because for some reason, his left leg wants to move, but the other one doesn't. 
although slightly, I don't want to move it up, I don't want to move it forward and back too much, otherwise I might break it. Here's his face, up close. I think the camera, I don't know if the camera can focus on it, I don't want to, okay, I can't move it too close, but there's his face with his nice mustache and his goggles on his forehead. He's even got his bald head. Yeah, this is a really cool figure. I can understand. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Next one is Knuckles. His arms can his arms can move. 360 and all the way forward or back all the way whichever you choose um here's his spiky knuckles or his hands as well uh his hands are almost like he can hold something but they didn't come with anything i'm assuming that's just like it's just, again, it's like the artic it's like the articulated figures, where it looks like they're holding something, like Sonic over there. Like it looks like he, like it looks like he can hold something, and that's because he can, because he came with a snowboard. But for these, they're just like that, and Sonic's like that as well. Yeah, their hands are exactly like how they are in the artic articulated figures. It would have been cool if the smaller ones came with something. But I don't mind if they don't include anything. But um, here's Knuckles' face. Uh, I'm always like, imp I'm always fascinated by the painting on this, on these figures. Here's Knuckles' shoes. Detailing shoes look spot on. Looks good. They're like, yeah, they're just like sneakers. Almost makes it look very realistic. Knuckles looks really, looks just like from the movie. And here is the Buzz Bomb, Buzz Bomber. This is just like the Batniks from the, the original Sonic movies, but it's just Sonic movies, Sonic games, <laughs> excuse me. But it's uh, it's designed as um, as the cinematic universe. It has like that white um, it's just plain white and just red. Which is the design that Robotnik chose for this cinematic u for this cinematic universe of Sonic. And uh, as you saw from earlier, um, it comes with a clear base that you can uh, peg them on. So it looks like he's flying. And also because he can't stand as well. Uh, very nice figure. Uh, his waist well, oh, came off. His base came off. Uh, the lower part of his body can move left and right. Um, I don't know if his head can turn. Oh, yeah, it can. Only slight though. Not too much. But um yeah, this guy looks this guy looks pretty nice. Um Yeah, there's not there's not too many things I can say about it because uh I haven't the movie isn't out so I don't know too much about it. But when it does come out then I might know more about about it. But yeah, that's the um that's the five pack and that's the articulated Sonic figure. Two two Sonic move two Two Sonic Movie 2 merch pieces, excuse me. And all of them are just incredible. Really awesome to have as a Sonic collector. Especially for the movie. I forgot to show this already, by the way. Um, Sonic can fit on... I forgot to put Sonic on his board. Let's see if I can... Oh, get he's on. Yeah, one leg. Or one foot, not leg. Um, this is going to take a second. Oh, there we go. 
there's Sonic on his board. Snowboard. Uh, this is for the snow scene, which is in the trailer. Which I'm very interested to see, by the way. Here's a better view of Sonic on his board. Sorry if the camera is a bit crooked. Here's all the figures together. Including the articulated Sonic figure. All of these figures just look um, awesome together. I know I've said that so many times, but I just cannot get over it. Like, these figures just look great. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find more of the Articulate Sonic figures. Uh, this was the only one that I saw at one of my local targets. Um, I'm assuming there might have been more. I'm assuming the rest might have been sold out pretty quickly. Uh, but luckily, this was the only one that was left for me to pick up. Um... And this was also the only uh, 2.5 inch Sonic pack that I saw. They had a bunch of the 13 inch Sonic movie plush that I showed last video. But um, yeah. That's the review for, for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. To show your support if you want um i think um maybe for the few videos that i upload there might be about sonic movie 2 merch if i do uh buy some uh just to show off all right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed this video again like i said make sure to drop a like and subscribe to show your support if you want me to upload more videos like this in the future and also maybe just maybe that might give me some motivation for video ideas for the future but right now um i'm focusing on school and other stuff that i'm gonna be busy with i don't know for how long but um yeah whenever i whenever i get the time to uh record something that's pretty fast or just something that i have the energy for like like review videos for example then i'll be happy to do it because review videos are they, they just give me a nostalgic factor i don't know why i think it's because i've uploaded review videos in the past and so it just gives me like vibes from those times but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is Nabi Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Why are we still here?